<laughs> Actually, that looks good. <laughs> Good, hey buddy. How you doing? Good. Coming to get my guitar. Look at this case. Looks like a platypus, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a one of a kind. My guitar is, you know, I'm rough on it. Yeah. Friend, so how, are how you? are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. That case is wild. Isn't it great? It looks almost like a like a Gatling or some sort of firearm. Well, I think it looks like a platypus. It doesn't look like a platypus. And I think it's funny that they would actually invest in having a cardboard case made in this shape as opposed to reconfiguring a rectangle. Yeah. Because it does fit in, they do fit in like large Jackson cases. And okay, stuff. sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff for like bees and all that, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about this little guitar. So coyotes were made, it's a, it's a big human signature. Billy Gibbons designed it, okay. Earl Wine built it. Okay. And if you look, if you ever look on the back of a ZZ Top album, almost every, at least all the early, what, like six, seven, eight of them? Sure, sure. There's always a silhouette of a cow, of a coyote howling in the moon. Okay. That's the head ah, of the coyote. got it now. That's supposed to look... You know, that's supposed to be a tail. It's the best they could do. <laughs> but there's the eye, of course, and the mouth and the nose. So. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this particular one is the first one ever made. Oh, interesting. Cool. I walked into Pete's Guitar in St. Paul in 1984. Okay. And Pete Alanoff. Okay. Neil Sundet and Alan Rogan, okay. who was the guitar tech for George Harrison, yeah. Billy Gibbons, Ang and Angus Young, oh. and Pete Townsend and Eric Clapton. Okay, who right. yeah. happened to be there? Yeah, yeah. And they had just gotten these that day. Okay. And Pete was very kind to me. Okay. Pete is also the guy who turned me on to custom and gave me. Oh, wow. My first custom. That's cool. In gold sparkle. Cool. So this is the very first one. And they, how many did they make? Like 1,500 or something? I don't, you know, I honestly can't tell you. Yeah, yeah. I honestly don't. I'm going to guess. Did you say 1,500? Yes. I'm going to guess 50. Oh, okay. Five, zero. Oh, okay. I've owned. So what's a pickup selector? For, I like to be able to stutter. Okay, so it's just a kill switch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. And when I was on tour with Everclear, the Everclear road crew, I asked them to put the stutter switch in for me. Sure. This was their method. I know, my God. It's like, I think they, they literally, I think they used like... A, a, a Dremel or something. Yeah. They did, they used a Dremel to carve it out. And nobody stopped to think that it's a direct line Oh, I know. From here to here. <laughs> they decided, to, they decided to take the scenic I mean, route. you can literally buy a drill bit that long. Oh, I've got a couple coyotes because they're flat just yeah. by putting it on a tabletop and eyeballing it and doing it. That's funny. But I like to have the stutter. I kind of like the, I like the story behind it, though. Yeah. Now, this particular guitar, of course, I've had it since... You know, it's it's dated uh, BC. <laughs> <laughs> is it a hundred percent original? Uh no. The pickup is not, uh, the pickup is not original. Okay. Of course, the stutter switch is not original. They didn't have anything. Um, the knob is original. Yeah. The tuning machines, of course, are not original, and they don't even match. Okay, sure. I have two sets. Two different kinds, yeah. From three aside, two I had two three aside sets. I didn't okay. have a, a single six a set side. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. So, which I actually kind of like, which made me think of an invention easier. Oh sure. And so I'm patenting a Braille esque tuning machine with an embossed letter on it, so okay. your E. Will oh. Have, and yeah, that'll yeah. be especially helpful on twelve string. Oh yes. Yeah. And for kids. E one, uh, you know. A two, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, so anyway, 
A little bit of divining kind of coming off a little bit. Oh, kind of. Oh, shit. There's, yeah. Yeah. Dude, this thing has seen more wars than... This is just picked... I cleaned it this morning. This is just picked us from this morning. No. Sure. Here's, here's a good story about this guitar. There's, there's a lot of them, but I like this particular story. Freak is number 38 on the charts. Flip is riding high. Sure. We're on tour with everybody and their brother. Green Day. From Green Day to, uh, what's that heavy metal band? The guy with the crazy mic stand. Uh, ha, ha, corn. <laughs> corn. Oh, corn. Uh, corn. I mean, just everybody tried sure. to give you a wide spectrum. Stroke turbo pot. Anyway, we're playing in... What felt kind of like a hometown gig, but we had been all over the country. We played like Madison or Milwaukee, where Freak was sure. literally number one at the time. Yeah, yeah. So we're headlining a festival there. And oh, I'm going to guess, just going to guess 5,000 people in the streets of Milwaukee. And at the end of the show, I take this guitar. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. And I wing it <laughs> like this, yeah. right? And my guitar tech Dan Stressman runs out and grabs it from the audience sure, and gives sure. it back to me and I'm rocking half a brain. Yeah. This thing stays in tune forever, by the yeah. way. And I take it again. <laughs> wing it. Okay, this happens four times. <laughs> I wing it. Finally Dan comes huffing back to me. He's got sweat all over his forehead and he hands it back to me. He goes, Please. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it again. And this is all happening within the span of a single yeah. rave up on the end of the last song, right? Sure, sure. No problem, Dan. I won't. Yeah, of yeah, course yeah. I do. <laughs> and this time I watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it hits a woman. Oh, no. Right here in the head. <laughs> right here in the head, sure. and I see it. Yeah. So I immediately, without panic, but in full show style, make yeah. that the end of the show, because yeah. now I got some I have to attend. Sure, right. So I do make the big ending happen. <laughs> <laughs> and I run off the stage, and I have Dan go get her right away, yeah, my yeah, guitar yeah. tech, go get her right away. And he goes and gets her. It's an outdoor festival, downtown Madison or Milwaukee, I forget which. Sure. And there is a hospital a block away. Okay. I grab a, a, a golf cart, and I'm still in my black and white makeup. Yeah, yeah. She's got blood running down the side of the head, yeah, yeah. and she's talking like this. As she's talking like this. I'm like, are you okay? And she's smiling and stuff, and I'm like, ugh. She's and I'm like, do you live here? Yeah, I go to school here. And she's talking really slow and and droll or whatever the sure, right yeah. word is, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm concerned that I've literally created, like, I... She got brain damage. Yeah, you gave her a lobotomy. Well, I thought she got, you know, that she got but hit really like, head in the hall. Which really was hard. Cuss, though, wasn't it? Uh, she she had a, she, there was blood cuff. That's what yeah. I thought. She had a really bad concussion or something. So, now, our manager at the time is Bill Coin from KISS. No okay. stranger to people getting in the audience getting hurt by sure. foreign objects yeah. from the band. <laughs> yeah. Pyro yeah, yeah. and the like. And they got sued even for drumsticks and okay, sure. stupid crap. They were the band. Right? And then, anyway, so, Kilo, I find him right away. I get a golf cart. I take the, the, the injured woman to the hospital with my makeup on. I had sure. spoken really quickly to Kilo. He's on the phone to Bill Coin, who says, find the boyfriend, give him every shirt, every bit of merch yeah. you have, give him a beer, party him up, show him a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Brinson at the hospital with a, golf, with a golf cart with the girl. So she comes out, the doctor says she's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm so relieved, right? We're driving back. I'm like, that's good. And she's just like smiling and still acting goofy, right? Okay. And I go, well, it's really good. The doctor said you're fine. Yeah, this is about really good. And she's still talking like that. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, God, she's not okay. That doctor was a quack. Yeah. And we get back. And which is only like a half a block away in this golf cart. It was sure. so convenient, yeah, so yeah. lucky. And I see Kilo, and she sees her boyfriend, and the rest of the band in a circle around our bus having yeah, yeah, beer. Yeah. It was in the afternoon, which was a cool thing. It was sure, daylight sure. out. Um, 
in a circle, all drinking beer, partying, woo, whooping it up. And we get back there, we drive up in the golf cart, and I'm still a little bit shaky. And Kilo, who's my right-hand guy in Flip, it's like I'm still kind of looking at him and making, like, eye language, like, kind of spooked. And then I turn to the boyfriend and I say, how are you doing, man? And he goes, I think it's very, very cool. <laughs> and then I was like, that's how they talk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's funny. That is funny. If you can get a close up on that, a little bit of blood over. No, but I mean, <laughs> I know. you can see there's been some. Oh yeah. And one time we played a private concert. You play uh, like a company will hire you, frankly, for really good money to play there. So it's mahogany. To put, uh, it's um, uh, like what are the bees and the explorers? Made Karina. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's Karina. Cool. Um, we're playing at a, a and big this this company hires us and puts a giant stage out in the middle of the field. Gets a huge PA, huge DA stage, huge lights, everything, right? Sure. But they want this full production, right? Like sure, a big sure. it was so awkward. <laughs> and it's out in this farmer's like beautifully manicured field sure, sure. for the event. At one point, I take the coyote again and chuck it, this one. And this time, I come, I get a good run back, really huge stage, and as hard as I could, I threw it. And Stuck was, in the ground? <laughs> yes, and which I was trying to yard, yard it. I was like literally in the back of my mind, I went, I'm gonna yard jerk this over this fucker's head. <laughs> And I yard jarred, it's stuck in the grass perfectly. One thing about this guitar, it's weighted, you can lean it anywhere, it's fucking great. But it's stuck in the grass, boom, like that. And I jumped off the stage over everybody's head <laughs> and played with it in the grass. That's cool. <laughs> awesome. So, that, yeah, there's a lot of rich history in there. And I have no idea, like, it's been repainted. It was red. Oh, was it? Okay. And then for the longest time, I had a piece of plexiglass cut to the exact same size. Sure. And I'd put whatever I wanted underneath the plexiglass. Oh, okay, sure, sure. And I would change the look of it from time to time. And then one day, I just decided I had a bunch of gold glitter and some polyurethane. Sure. I was like, well, I wonder what would happen if I just like started using a paintbrush and painting it off and leaving it sit. And I did. And I was like, hey, it's not good. I know, except for I got really dumb. I didn't know where to stop. I think it, if I was doing a, uh, like, a, and I set up half step down. Oh, you are half step down. I'm half step down, yep. And if I remember right, I was playing a C sharp minor. Mm -hmm. Probably won't now. But it intonates beautifully, stays in tune just wonderfully. Uh, here's the strings, but yeah, half step down is crucial. You guys, uh, when did you start doing that? I've done that since 1976. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. Well, it was Hendrix in the. Because I would learn their songs, and I'm like. And it's also easier for people to sing in that version. Why is this song in F sharp? What, you know? Why is this song in C sharp? <laughs> A sharp. You get all these weird. It plays great. Doesn't it? It's uh, my first. It's a Les Paul Jr. It is. As far as playability and stuff like that, I'll check them. Oh, yeah, and I've never had a fret job on it, if you can believe that, since 1984 or 3. This is by far the best one I've ever had out of the bunch, without even a question. Um, we should have been quiet. It's, I don't understand. Except put fresh strings on there. And, 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 uh, oh, oh, and intonate, intonate it at a half step down. Okay. But isn't she a beauty? Have some fun with it. Check All it. Right. Have some fun with it. Check it out. You know, pick up height. Um, take a look at that. Um, I tend to, I'm more of a slightly more of a lower output pickup guy sure. than a higher out guy, gain out pickup guy. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I like to make the amp work. Sure, sure. And not before the amp. And it's a D Armin pickup, which is interesting. Is it? Yeah. Now, I had a pickup in there from a 58 SG 
or 57, I think it was, and the winding broke. And the guy who was doing my guitars at the time just slapped that in because sure. it was half black and half white. Yeah, he happened yeah, yeah. to have it in his pickup drawer. Sure. And I got to tell you. It works. Yeah, I, you know. Yeah. Some pick up voodoo, I don't know. Man, sometimes I wonder. I just wonder, you know. I can't help but wonder because I've had so many different things. And it doesn't seem to really be a defining fact. It's one thing as that much as like the yeah. amp and the guitar itself and the speaker cabinet or the speaker, like in that line of th in that line of thinking, I put the pickup kind of low. Like, you know, a lipstick pickup is almost like a freaking, you know, it's like a gum wrapper and a hair clip or something. <laughs> well, shit, it was, yeah. Yeah, strings are nice. you, I mean, it even sounds like a Les Paul Jr. acoustically, doesn't it? Really yeah. woody. It plays white. It's, it's very woody. woody. You can totally hear the tone in the guitar. Just yes. Without an amp, even. Yeah. Yep. That's how you know you got a good guitar. It's, it's so you know. true. Well, why don't you do your magic, and Brendan and I will go chat a little bit about uh, <coughs> flip crawl. Sure. On the F position. Yeah, yeah. I think he wants you bringing it in, though. Oh, got it. Got it. God. Oh yeah, it, you know, I'm be careful, kids, to... playing with these picks because you'll sound worse. <laughs> <laughs> so he just set this up here at Taylor. What is the official name of your uh, Go Go Guitars? Go Go Guitars, perfect name. He just got done restringing and setting up. Oh, he cleaned the neck. Look at that. Why well, I, I, it was dry as a bone. It, it, just moisture just sucked out of it. Yeah. How bad? Yeah, it should be kind of moisturized. Did, was it, did it almost like make it hard for you to breathe in the room? Did it take <laughs> the oxygen out of the room? No, it's. Uh, oh, I it feels wonderful. It. Oh. Yeah. It wants to party. Yeah. That's a sign of a nice guitar, and this is here's here now. If you're going in to get your guitar set up, when you leave, the one thing you want to do it's going to scare the guy who set it up. But such is life. You just hit a big E chord, and then you slowly kind of take your hand off the chord and see how the guitar rings without any assistance. See that? That is the sign of a proper setup. Perfect. You know, I mean, feel how light that is. It weighs like, I'd say six and a half pounds. Tops. <laughs> yeah. The, I mean, no, it's yeah. which is vital. Yeah. It's freaking flat black spray can paint on the neck. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. So there's the original color coming through. Okay, there. the red. Wow, I didn't even notice that. Look at how it just like fucking chewed up. Oh yeah. I mean, years and years. It's on every Flip album. Um, it's on a Hillary Duff album. Um, God, I'm trying to think if there's anything else super badass. It's on a uh, a jazz song by Patty Austin, believe it or not. Oh, interesting. The, the jazz singer. Oh, yeah. I wrote a song for her. <laughs> this is the cool. guitar yeah. ended up on it. All right. The Hondo Coyote. Mm. Can't go wrong. Yeah. That's a killer guitar. I need to trim that E, I, E thing. 